Kendall, what's your makeup routine? What's your lip combo? What are you wearing? You guys, I hear you. I hear that you want to know how I do my makeup. So that is what we are filming today. I'm going to share all the products I use down in the description. But keep in mind, you can sort of makeshift this. You don't have to have the exact things that I'm using and you don't have to do all the same exact steps. Makeup is very individual, so just pull what works for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. In terms of prep, I sort of think that primer is a hoax. I know, crazy, people swear by primer. I try to limit the amount of layers I am putting on my face because I get irritated with thick, heavy makeup. But I do make sure to do my skincare in the morning beforehand so my skin is moisturized and ready to go. Starting out with this Tula concealer in the whitest shade possible. I'm going to cover up any blemishes and red spots, so for me, that's mostly around my chin. The only other parts I really conceal are under my eye and along my eyebrows. This is less so for covering things up and more so for highlighting purposes. Next, I'm gonna grab my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, which was originally sent to me as PR and I fell in love with it. Lately, I've been preferring much lighter coverage, so this has been perfect. With a damp beauty blender, I just beat that in. You wanna work sorta of fast so that the concealer doesn't dry and never forget to blend it down your neck. Once it's all applied evenly, I grab my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, which is my favorite contour stick. This shade is actually cool toned, which isn't something I realized about myself until recently. I would always use warm bronzers, but that just doesn't match my coloring. So where do I apply the contour? First, I go along the sides of my nose as well as underneath. My nose has a little bump, so I like to highlight that by adding a small line over the top. So it sort of creates this upside down eye shape. With the same beauty blender, I beat that in. Next, I contour my cheekbones. Always put your contour higher than you think it is because it will blend downwards. So I usually start up here and just do a line. Always start with less and then you can add more. Blend it out until it looks something like this. Next, I do under my chin. This is an area where it's very easy to go overboard, so I cannot emphasize enough. Start with less and then add more. I just put a dot here and a dot there. Blend it in. Then if I want my lips to look a little more luscious, I sometimes I add the contour under my bottom lip. This creates a shadow, so it looks like my lips are bigger than they are. And I don't always do my forehead, but if I'm in the mood, I'll just put a little line like that. Next for blush, I use Rare Beauty Encourage, which is a liquid blush. I place a dot up on the top of my cheekbones. Using the same beauty blender, I just beat it in. Similar to the contour, you wanna put this higher than you would think. When you put blush on the apples of your cheeks, it sort of drags your face down and makes you look a little more round. So I like to put it high up to get this lifted look. Before we add any powder, we wanna let the wet foundation sit for a little while. So this is usually when I do my brows. Lately. I've been using the NYX Brow Tint Pen, which I've really been liking. I just sort of fill in my brows where there are gaps. And if I want them to feel more secure, I use brow glue to keep them laminated. Once your base has sat for a little while, it's time to go in with some translucent setting powder. My favorite one is the Sephora Collection Loose Powder. It's much cheaper than a lot of their competitors, which is fantastic, but I also find it doesn't have a tint to it. I was using Charlotte Tilbury for a really long time, but I realized it has sort of a yellow undertone which does not match my skin tone. With your translucent powder, I just sort of shake some into the top of the container. Then using a dry beauty blender, specifically this cloth one, sort of is this micro fiber towel material so it easily picks up the powder. I dip it into the cap and pick up some product and then I lightly dab this along my nose contour. I do the same on both sides. Then I get some more and I go under my cheek contour. Now do not wipe away any of the powder until your very last step in your makeup routine. You're leaving this on to set your foundation and allow it to soak into the rest of your makeup. This is my standard base, so if I ever change up the eye makeup, the base is always the same. Now onto the eye makeup. I use the Big Ego Tarte Palette, and I only use 
three shades out of this entire palette. I use Authentic, Unbreakable, and Own It. Sort of this light brown neutral, a dark brown, and then this charcoal color. You don't have to use this exact palette, just use whatever you have on hand that is close. And I take a big fluffy brush and get the lightest shade. Tap off the excess. This I'm gonna put all over my lid. If it looks a little too harsh, just keep on blending. Blend until you can't blend any longer and eventually it will create this sort of dusted faded look. Then you can get a smaller brush or I just sort of pinch the bristles using the same color. I take it under my lower lash line like so. Now we're gonna take that medium brown shade and tap it onto a more compact small brush. What I'm going for here is the closer you get to my lash line, the darker the eyeshadow shade gets. So I take this shade and press it along my lash line. And then using the same brush or my fluffy brush, I blend that in a little bit. Do the same on the lower lash line. Finally, with an even smaller brush, we're gonna take that darkest charcoal shade and get even closer to the lash line. Just keep blending this gradient of shades and you're gonna get that smoky effect. Also using the small brush and darker shades, I will press into the inner corners of my eye, create that fox siren kind of point. This is what you should be working with at this point. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna put eyeliner on, mascara, falsies, and it all sort of covers it up anyway. Next, tight line your eyes with some black gel eyeliner. This one is Smashbox, but I actually hate this one. It doesn't go on very dark and I have to reapply it like three separate times. Pull down your eye gently and rub it along the inner corner. If you're feeling extra crazy, you can also put it on the top waterline. Now onto liquid eyeliner, which is arguably one of the hardest things to try and describe to you guys. I'm gonna try my best, bear with me. I use the e.l.f. liquid liner. My favorite eyeliner, I've been wearing this for years. It is so cheap. I think it's like $2, $4, something very expensive. And it has a brush applicator, which I really like. Let's do it. I start by making a line on the outer corner of my eye going upwards towards my temples. Then I apply the liner super small towards the inner corner of my eye and then as I get towards the exterior, it gets larger. And how I connect the two is by starting at the tail of the wing and dragging it towards the center of my eye. Doing it that way, the brush sort of does all the work for you. You just have to connect the dots. Then I also add a little triangle on the inner corner of my eye create that fox eye look. That is how I do the main chunk of my eye makeup. Eyeliner is a sort of practice makes perfect kind of thing, so just keep trying. Start with less and build up if you want more. Now I'm going to curl my lashes using the Shiseido Eyelash Curler and put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Right now I'm using the YSL mascara just because it's what I have on hand. It does a really good job of lengthening, but I think drugstore mascara is just fine. With my mascara, I always start at the base of the lashes while I drag the brush outwards. Oh my God. Did I really just do that while I am filming a makeup tutorial? <sighs> Well, now's a perfect time for me to show you how to fix a mistake. <laughs> so what do you do if you make a mistake like getting mascara on your nose or eyeliner? Wait for this sucker to dry. And then you take a little spoolie brush and you just sort of roll the brush on it to scrape it away. If you take some foundation with you, no worries. We can fix that in the end. Now onto lashes. I am a big, big fan of Lily lashes. I think they're the best false lashes on the market. Of course, they're a little more expensive. I always trim my lashes because I have relatively smaller eyes and they're also a lot easier to apply when you're not doing a full lash. Once they're prepped, I take some black glue and I trace it along the lash line. I use translucent glue for the longest time, but for me, the blacker the better, so this works just fine. I'm going to try and place the band as close to my natural lash line as possible. This is another thing where practice makes perfect, but don't worry, you can always readjust even when it's still on your eye. That is the eye makeup completely done. Now onto lips. Go ahead and take off any lip balm or anything that is currently on your lips. Lately, I've been going for a darker lip, so I use the Nabla Close Up Lip Shaper in shade Nude Number no. 6, and I start by outlining my lips. You wanna stay on your lip line, but where you can slightly extend it is your cupid's bow and below your middle lower lip. 
So this is what we're working with. Next, I take a brush and blend this brown out. You gotta be pretty careful here because it's very easy to go outside the lines and make this look messy. Once I'm satisfied with my blending, I go in again with the brown on my top lip. I want my top lip to be slightly darker than my bottom lip. And then I take a dab of makeup remover and remove some of the color from my bottom center lip. This creates a really nice gradient. Then I go in with my Stila Clear Gloss and that's how I do my lips. We are nearly done. We are in the home stretch. Now take a big fluffy brush and wipe away all of the excess powder. For my very last step, I take some setting spray and spray it all over my face. Cover the bangs, of course. Gonna let that dry. I'm done with my makeup. We made it to the end, folks. And that is how I do my everyday makeup. Giving very much 90s grungy glam, which I I'm absolutely obsessed with. I feel like the high contrast fits my vibes very well. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you are new here, please subscribe, join the party. We're having a good time. I will see you guys next video. Bye losers.